So this question starts off with this function here. H of t is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus 10 t. And then our question here says the function h models the height h of t. So we know that this is the height in meters of a football t seconds, right? So we know t is time, which is typical, after it is kicked. What is the interpretation of h2 or h of 2? I'll write it over here h of 2 is equal to 0 0.40. Well, what are we doing between the equation provided and to the equation provided on this side? We're removing the t value. We're replacing this t value with a 2. We were told that t represents seconds after a football is kicked, which means we know that this is 2 seconds after kick right so after kick and then what about the 0 0.40 well that's what this represents and we were told that this represents the height right so the height two seconds after a football kicked is kicked is this 0 0.40 and i believe again yes we were told that that unit is in meters so technically that would be an m right there so which one of these answer choices matches our interpretation of the question. Choice A says the football has a maximum height of 0 0.40 meters. No, that's not exactly what this is saying. It's not saying that 0 0.40 is as high as it will go, so that's gone. Choice B, the football has a maximum height of two meters. Definitely not because that two had nothing to do with height. It had to do with seconds after being kicked or time. So B is gone. Choice C, the football has a height of 0.4 meters or 0 0.40 meters two seconds after it is kicked. That is exactly what we just said. It is exactly the meaning of replacing the T with a two and then saying that this all turns into 0 0.40 meters. And just to make sure we're correct, choice D, the football has a height of two meters. No, not at all. Again, because that two had nothing to do with meters. It had to do with time. So this question ends up being a typical process of elimination question that we see on these things. But what I like to call this question is a translate word problem question. So it's not, it's not your typical translate word problem question. Translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. But what we can see here is that when we read the word problem, we need to translate every part of it. The H means height, okay, got that. The T means seconds after it's kicked, got that. Uh, this provided information, I wanna translate, what does that mean? And it was in taking the time here, really within the first 30 seconds of the video, to understand the meaning of what I wrote that led directly to the correct answer.